everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Let My People Go, the Pulgas and the Passover. Let's read. Moses and Aaron called Paro, the God of the Israel, says you must let his people go free. Otherwise, bad thing will happen to you. But Paro would not listen. So in yesterday's story, like God called Moses to free the Israel people. <coughs> but Moses was saying that he couldn't. But God said God will help him. And like Moses brother Aaron can go with him so Moses has gone to Egypt to the Paro and told the Paro that let my people go my God in Israel is saying that you should let um, my people go. So God turned the water in Egypt into blood. No one could drink it. Then he filled the Egyptian houses with frogs. Frogs were everywhere. Still, Paro would not listen. So the, is the Paro did not let the Israel go, so first bad thing happened. All water in Egypt was turned into blood. Like, also, what they have stored, that water also became a blood. And they couldn't drink for many few days. Then, the game power did not lessen. So the frogs were everywhere. Oh. Like I like to see frogs sometime like only one frog, not like many of frogs walk at one time. Oh sorry. Oh So God filled the skies of Egypt with gains. They covered the people like dust. Then he st stuck the land of Egypt with flies. Still, Paro would not listen. So God has made another bad thing. And still, Paro would not listen. So the gains were everywhere and like the gains was covered the people like dust dust. And like Pyro was kept not listening and flies. Like it does not eat to me when there's my flies and ditches, you know. Oh, Oh, wait a minute, there's a question. Question. Paro let God's people go after all the water in Egypt was turned into blood. False? So God killed the animals of Egypt. Horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, cows, and goats all died. Then he covered the Egyptian people with stories. Still, Paro would not listen. God killed the animals of Egypt. Horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, cows, goats. All of the animals died. And Paro still not listen. So, there were... So, 
Soros. Like, I really don't want to see that. I don't. I really don't like where spot is very meant there if there's many spots. God sent help to crush the crops of Egypt. They barely and flax were destroyed. Sorry. I have just closed the window. Destroyed. Then he sent Lucas to eat what fruit remained. It. Still, Paro would not listen. So, God sent a hail to crush to the crops of Egypt. And many of them, almost of crops, destroyed. Then God sent Lucas to eat what food has left. Oh. How should listen to God? We have found the Bible gem, gentleness. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, oh. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. <laughs> So God sent darkness over the land, but again Pharaoh would not listen. God said, I will kill every first son in Egypt and all the firstborn animals. So God decided Pharaoh was not listening to God. Like he should, but he was not listening to God every time. What Moses has said. The God sent the darkness over the land, but again, Pyro did not listen. So last bad thing happened. All the firstborn son of Egypt and all the firstborn born of the animals died. So every firstborn animal and every firstborn son will die. Question what happened to Egypt the first time Pharaoh would not let the Israel go? Number three. Yeah. My people must kill a lamb, eat it, and put its blood on their doorpost. We will see the blood and pass over their house. Those children will not die. So God said, My people must kill a lamb and eat it, and put its blood under the post. Then God will see that blood and pass their houses. And those children will not die. Actually, I like the sound. Question. We have found... Oh, sorry. We have found that Bible gem. You would call this Passover. And always remember it that Israel obeyed God, but in the Egyptian firstborn son died, even Pharaoh's son. Finally, Pharaoh listened that listen, he'll let the Israel go. So Israel people listen to God. Obeyed God, but Pyro didn't. So that this day would be Passover. And still, uh, and this day there is also Passover. And 
Israel obeyed God, the Egyptian firstborn son died. Also, Paro's son died. We should obey God, right? Question, bad thing happened to Egypt because Pharaoh would not let God's people go. True. We have got the star. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye! Hmm.